Hi everybody, it's Joe Krug from FinSuite. In this video, we're going over the FinSuite scroll bar styler. This is a Chrome extension that we built for the Webflow community. This was created part for fun, part as a test for a bigger project we're working on, and part useful. We think that this is something very useful for people who don't like to write CSS by hand. You can do so much inside Webflow Designer, but you cannot style your scroll bar. We are going to be able to write these styles visually, see how they look, and then copy and paste the code to our Webflow site. When you download the extension, you can access it right in your extension bar in Chrome, or you can go to the Webflow site that has this styler functionality ready to go. We are going to generate our CSS, and when we start applying styles and we see them visually, we can copy them and put them right inside Designer. All right, let's see how we can use this. We're going to first create a really wacky, wild scroll bar, and we're going to apply it to the body of the page. Then we're going to create a more formal scroll bar, and we're going to apply it to a pop-up on the page. Let's see how this works. First, we have the ability to apply these styles to a certain part of the page. If you're only styling the body, the primary scroll bar on the page, if you're only doing that and there's no pop-up at just one, you can leave this blank. And when we generate our CSS, nothing before these two colons means everything. It's going to apply this scroll bar styling to every scroll bar that is on this page. If we are going to apply to both the body and to a pop-up, we have to be more specific here. So since we are applying it to the body and a pop-up, I'm going to go and type body here. And now that I've applied body, anytime I go and write styles, they're going to be written to the body. All right, let's get wild. Let's do something wacky here so we can see all the different things we can do here and really see uh, how we can style visually without writing a lot of CSS. Scroll bar track, this is the background. We can apply border here. Let's make this dotted and the color is going to be this green sea foam type color. Let's add some crazy radiuses, a little bit more here, 20, and we'll do another 10. This is a real, a real scroll bar that we are styling. So when we see this live and we're playing with it, it's actually how a scroll bar is going to work on the page. We have a thumb, that's this black piece right here. And I'm gonna go and style that to, let's say a pink and let's do a, a little bit less. And we'll make this a yellow, okay. And we'll do a radius on everything here instead of radius for each corner. So this is a radius for everything. We can do a shadow. Let's, uh, we'll keep this as a black. Let's do a distance of 10 do a blur of 10 and a size of four. We can also change the angle here by clicking around here. And you can see that this looks kind of weird in some angles. And this is actually how this, the scroll bar is going to style in a pop-up view. So you can see that when not on the body, this type of shadowing doesn't really work too well. Maybe it would work well if there was some display none, not really sure to be honest, but you can see that, be careful with the shadow here. If you were to apply this type of shadow to a, a real body scroller, so like right here, we'll see that this is actually going to work. But for now, let's keep it like this. We'll see how it changes when we apply it to the body. Uh, we can apply inner as well. You can see I went from shadow outer to inner. And let's make this a little bit weird weird and weird okay so wow look at this this work of art here okay scroll bar thumb we have default hover and pressed watch what happens when i go to hover and pressed the styles reset they're still there in the default state 
And if we want, we can write separate styles to the hover and press state. Imagine writing all these styles by hand with CSS. It would take a lot of time and some knowledge of CSS. So let's go and write these visually. And we're going to, let's do a little bit of a different color here, maybe an orange. We'll do a different border radius and a color of this blue. We'll do less here. And you can see that these styles are not updating because we are not hovering yet. So we're st styling the hover state. So when I hover, we'll see these changes. And there we go. I've now written these changes, these styles for the hover state. And I can also change that inner shadow if I want. So here, I'll also do that. Bam, bam, and look at that, nice. And let's just do one on a press state just to make sure that it's working for us. What don't we have? We have every color in here. So you can see that the pressed is working. And if I just set this to a slightly different color, it will be more obvious. Okay, so we're working, cool. We have hover, pressed, and we're ready to generate CSS and apply to the body. So I'm gonna generate and look at all of this CSS that we don't have to write. Hopefully your scroll bar is not going to actually have this many styles, but in the case that it does, we just saved a whole bunch of time and we are doing something visually instead of writing the code for it. So now I'm going to go into my Webflow build. This is a sample site that we have created just for this preview. And you can see that it copy pastes right inside the head. We have the style tags in here for you already. And if I go and save and publish, we're going to see these changes live on the site. So if I go and publish, we're going to see our ridiculous scroll bar and it's working. And remember what I said about the shadow? The shadow is looking good here it totally works. There's no flashing. So if we go back to this example, we saw this weird flashing. We're gonna see that if this was applied to a pop-up, but seeing it here on the body, it looks quite nice. And our pressed and hover states are working as planned. Great. Now we open our pop-up and we see that it's not applied to the pop-up. And the reason is we only wrote these styles for the body. If you remember, up here, we applied it to the body and the body only. If we left it blank, this would have the same exact styling as this, but it doesn't. So now let's go and make a normal scroll bar, something that would actually look good on a site and apply it to this pop-up. First thing we're gonna do is see what class we have to apply these styles to. We're going to go to our pop-up wrapper and we will display flex so we can see what's going on. Here in our pop-up modal class, we have overflow auto set. That means if content within this div is overflowing, it's over the size of the 500 pixel height that we've set for it, it's going to allow the element to be scrolled. So whatever element has this auto or scroll overflow applied to it is the class that we have to pull. It's the class we have to write the styles to, and I'm going to grab the style right now. Pop-up modal. Great. So I've grabbed the style, I just copy pasted. I'm gonna go and hide the pop-up wrapper. We're done with that. Let me go back to the Chrome extension, and to reset the styles, just reload. If you're in the extension, just close the extension, open the extension back up, and now you've reset the styles. Great, so we're going to apply to the pop-up modal. Since it's a class, we need this period here, of course, and classes have this dash here when they are no dashed inside Webflow. So here we are, period, pop-up, dash, modal, apply to, and we'll check right here, and this is exactly what we want to start out. We have our pop-up modal with a WebKit scroll bar with set to auto. That's the default starting place. Now let's start writing the styles and apply it 
to the pop-up modal. All right, let's give it a different width here, just a little bit bigger. Scroll track. Um, maybe let's do a gray here, could be nice. We're not gonna do any borders, we're not doing anything crazy. Let's keep this as a black. And just for fun, let's do a hover of something a little bit less black, a gray. Cool, okay. And that's it. We're doing a very basic one here. This is not gonna be crazy. We're just seeing how to apply to a pop-up. We're gonna generate the CSS and we are going to copy. Now, when I copy, I'm also gonna grab these style tags. So if you've already got the style tags on the site, you can also go ahead and copy this. So I've just command seed, control seed, I've copied these styles, and now I am going to paste them inside the Webflow site. So I'm gonna go into site settings, inside the head tag, and right after these last styles that we applied to the body, I'm going to paste what I've just copied. We don't have the double style tags. We can't have a style tag inside of a style tag. And they can all go in the same single set of style tags. And you can see this worked perfectly. We have our class with our simple stylings, just backgrounds. We have our hover state. Cool. Now let's go and save this, publish, and watch it working. And this is publish. Remember, we have... Let's just go and open this up. We have our normal default scroller. Now we're going to reload the page and we're going to see our custom scroller. Open pop-up. Cool, and there we go. That's exactly what we asked for. Nice. Okay, great. And that is how you style a body and a pop-up wrapper with the F and Suite scroll bar styler. If you like the F and Suite scroll bar styler, you like the idea of Chrome extensions to help you use Webflow, let us know what you think about this. Let us know what features you would like added. Let us know what functionalities you would like added. Let us know if there's another type of extension that you think would be super useful in Webflow. Maybe we'll build it. We're listening. We wanna do more st cool stuff for the Webflow community. We're here, we're ready to build. And thanks so much for watching. We are super amped about this and enjoy styling your scroll bar. That's effing sweet.